What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and I'm here to talk today about Madden 25 Ultimate Team with my friend Wizen Now. Hello people. And today we're recording this on Monday when EA released some new information about Ultimate Team and mostly information concerned like the new team chemistry which is chemistry used to be in the game but it seems to be tweaked a little bit and have a they'll have a higher importance in Madden 25. And they're also talking about head-to-head -head seasons mode, which I'm not very familiar with. I know it's in other games, but I don't know much about it. But why isn't I here to break down basically the information that's out so far about Madden and maybe some of the concerns we have because there's a lot of things that we had in our wish list and a lot of it hasn't really been addressed at all. So it's like a lot of elephants in the room. And so I'm going to start this off by saying, Wiza, what is your take right now? Are you kind of skeptical? Are you happy? What do you think about all this stuff about Ultimate Team right now? All right. First thing I want to say is <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, giving you guys a different view of this thing because um, I was actually fortunate enough to go down to Orlando and play and test out the ultimate team back in, I think, about March. So I'll be able to, you know, give it to you from a different point of view. Now, give me that question again. Um, what are you, right now, what are your thoughts on Ultimate Team like? When you think of Ultimate Team, where are you at, mindset-wise? Okay. I want to say that I still believe that there's so much more that can be done with Ultimate Team. Um, with the playbook that was released, I don't think that that was something that the community really was 100% behind. Because there's still a lot of nagging issues in Ultimate Team that according to this playbook, were not addressed. Um, so my my issue um, with this playbook is more so EA's marketing department where you want to market the mold, a mold that can make you a, a ton of money. Um, but when you release the playbook with the information, it's pretty bare bones. It, it, it tells you what new features are added, but doesn't tell you anything about them in depth. Really, yeah, that, and then the trailer they posted, too, was like 45 seconds. It wasn't very long at all, and it had even less information than the article. And if you ask me the same question I asked you, I'm skeptical, but at the same time, I don't want to hammer them yet. I want to mm -hmm. wait till the game is out, because I understand that some of the things that we may want, it's hard to market. And when they try to market, they want to bring in new customers, a new user base, and expand the community of Mutt. And I think we see this all the time with marketing in these games. And we see, okay, we're the hardcores that are playing this game regardless, but they're not talking about some of our concerns. They're talking about new things and just kind of, you know, crowd pleasers. So they're not going to market and say, we have an improved collection interface, unless they're actually going to go into a more in-depth video. In a 45-second video, you're not even going to touch that. And so I have no idea if I'm going to still have to spend a half hour collecting cards just for a couple collections or what that's all going to be about. That's a big part of Ultimate Team. Right. And, you know, the time you spend collecting versus playing, <laughs> it's damn near even or imbalanced in the favor of collecting. Right. Now, with the trailer that they released, I'm going to agree with you on so this one thing. Um, they're trying to get the players that might not be aware of Ultimate Team or might not know about Ultimate Team uh try to attract them to at least give ultimate team a look so their whole pitch on the trailer is hey you can play with any of these players you could build your team and make you know you can make your team around like a, a hard-nosed defense you could specialize in that you know it's it, it I, i'm guessing that it's trying to attract people to the point of you can put any player on your team so it's mm -hmm. pretty much like playing you know how you go like you you're, you're playing uh, offline and you're remember when you were when we were kids you play Madden and you try to put all of these great players on your team and then just run ramp shot through the league when we were kids. I did that. And um, what they wanted to do is pretty much tell the people that don't know about Ultimate Team that this is what you can do in this game and others can do it as well and you just see who's the best player. Um, with the teams that you design to fit your mold or your scheme the way you want them to be. So with that, you know, I would say if that's what their aim was for that trailer, okay, you did a decent job. But for the people, your community, the, the diehards for Ultimate Team, 
This did nothing for him. Absolutely nothing. I like the idea of the the whole chemistry thing, but it depends on how important chemistry really is. Like I watched one of your videos when you were talking about you really didn't notice a difference. Granted, this was a few months ago, Mm -hmm. and so I want there to be a pretty significant advantage to building a team that works around a certain scheme and plays to those strengths without becoming, you know, over the top with it. All right, let me say this about chemistry. Um, when we first, like, when we were testing it, we had to go through certain tweaks, and it wasn't tweaks that they were giving us. It was tweaks that we were giving them from things that we would notice. Um, for example, let's say we had speed running. Like, let's say I'm set at, set up at the speed running booth, and I'm playing against somebody that's set up at the, you know, he has a defense for run stopping or something like that. Or no, no, no. Let's say he has a defense for man, like man defense, man mm-hmm. coverage. Now, normally, you know, if and we're playing with like our chemistry is up to 100, you know, like we'll have a special card in there that puts it up to 100. Now, this isn't going to be available. That's for the, testing purposes. Game. Yeah, it's for testing purposes. Um, So it's like, all right, if our chemistry is up at 100, we should notice we should notice that our team is playing toward that chemistry, toward that scheme. And unless you had like an obs- a, a set obsessional bat that was like super fast, you didn't really notice it. Now, um, a better way of explaining this would be ground and pound. We had ground and pound with Marshawn Lynch um, on the team. And it's like the run game was getting nowhere. Um, And this was like against like a man, like, you know, they had it set up. Whereas speed running would be going up against man defense or man coverage. And normally you could get around that uh, based on how based on how the game work, how the game is programmed. Usually if if somebody's in man, they have a better chance at running the ball against the guy that's in against the players playing in man. Now I did see good blocking, but the issue is the higher the ratings got, the less the less the uh how can I say the less polished the blocking was. I seen more mistakes when the player ratings went up. So we will play with like uh, a 70 overall team or a 75 overall team. They say build your team up to about 75 and play with that. And then after a while, they say, all right, now build your team up to about 80 and play with that. And then, all right, build your team up to about 85. And, you know, once we got to 85, we were able to add in another another chemistry. So now we're dealing with four chemistries, um, four out of eight, by the way, meaning two on offense, two on defense. Once we got to that certain uh level and the higher we got it's like the more stupid the ai played uh whether it be on offense or on defense especially with the offensive blocking and that made me bring up to them i said to them uh when i play ultimate team and i have like these 99 fullbacks with great blocking stats they don't go to their assignment but when I play a regular online game and I'm playing with the Giants and this full that fullback's like a 73 overall or something like that, he always goes to his assignment. So I'm like, I noticed that in Madden 13, and it seems to be in Madden 25 also. The higher the rating, the less responsive they become. So can we get a fix for that? You know, so it's more so programming than chemistry that's going to affect the way teams play thus far i wish i had the experience to comment on some of these things but obviously i can't <laughs> now i want to completely switch gears here because okay i watched your video on your rant about the Thanks. not being able to buy bundles with coins only with microsoft points and as of this moment, you can yes. buy bundles right now with coins i can go buy a three legendary bundle pack for 100k and right. i'm not gonna go buy a microsoft point card Or anything like that. But I wanted to throw something out here that I'm not sure if you saw. And I'm linking you right now so you can see the picture. But go down to the picture that shows the Lions and the postseason schedule. And then 
the image that you were talking about, the all pro pack was 15,000 coins. Now, on this Lions picture I want you to look at right now, it's showing the rewards for these postseason schedules, which I'm assuming is for head-to-head -head seasons. Notice how the Super Bowl is only a 2,000 coin reward. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned that in uh, the season mode video. Okay. Where, you know, 500 coins, 1,000 coins, 1,500, 2,000. That's crap when you have to buy, like, a pack, a pack that's worth 15000 But the one thing we got to know is, okay, if I go beat Wise up by 50 points, hypothetically, how many mm -hmm. coins will I get? Right, right. Um, that's actually something that we, we threw at them also. Like, uh, you know, say that we play against someone and, you know, can we get rewarded if we, like, stomp a mud hole in them? You know, or if they quit, um, can they be, you know, possibly deducted points or they get nothing and, you know. Whatever algorithm they have is pretty lazy, I think. Yeah, I mean, we, we spend about an hour or, you know, give or take a few minutes playing a game and we get 800 coins for us. Like, uh, And the reason why I think, I don't think, I don't know how popular Mutt really is because there's not like a population number in the game. And casual players, I don't see the casual, why a casual player should play Mutt because you know how many games you have to play to earn an all-pro pack or a legendary pack? That would turn you gotta players turn it into away. your job, and that's why there's so many more players playing. I see more players playing head-to-head -head games. Right, uh, doing that take turns players away. Also, the tediousness of collecting and moving cards around that turns players away. There's more things in this game that turns people away than brings people in. Because they and have other options. You're trying to create competition, not just between other games, but between modes within your game. Give people a reason to play Ultimate Team instead of head-to-head -head mode. Because right now I prefer head-to-head -head mode, but it's for a variety of reasons. Right. Hey, I gotta agree with you. Um, and also, like, like we started off with there, being able to get coins, we should, we should be rewarded more. For what we do and I brought up in one of my videos when Madden 13 first came out and ultimate team was first out you do you know you, you say you play through the seasons for those particular teams you know like game one you get like 500 coins it's like what what are we gonna do with 500 coins you know we can't even get close like we would have to get through a whole season to get like a pack or two probably one pack and it was like, it, it's just so tedious. So to see that with, you know, as of this moment, and I have to keep prefacing, as of this moment, with the picture that was put out, the uh, Drew Brees picture that was put out, um, an all-pro pack being 15,000. And, and that's entirely dependent on how they um, do it for rewards in games and solo challenges. That's going to decide whether yeah. or not that's an overpriced pack or not yeah but i'm i'm going by particularly what they gave us they gave us yeah. that price and they gave us you, know, you know, there's a lot of packs too is pro legend premium all pro rookie um you got to show me that page uh it's on that drew Brees picture you can see the if you hit the bumpers there's uh let me link you right now it's pro legend premium all pro rookie and then single items which are like those one coin cards those low rated ones all right, see on mine it says not found because they took they took a bunch of them down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my video and take a look at the I've picture. I've had this picture up for the last two hours. Yeah, don't refresh it. <laughs> do not refresh it because it will go away in a heartbeat. I mean, okay, I see it now. All right, I see. Pro Legend Premium All Pro. All right, now when I was there, they didn't have all those. They have, they have Premium and Pro. That's it. No, they have Premium. Yeah, Premium and Pro. Uh, they didn't have all pro. They didn't have legend. They didn't have rookie. They didn't have any of that stuff, and they didn't have single items either. Um, and the thing is, they were they were going to try to sell people on just those two packs, but specializing in the bonus. And I forgot to mention this in my video. I said I was going to mention it, and I forgot. Drop it right now. Here we go. <laughs> when you buy a bundle. You know how you know how before they would do those promos where you get like topper packs or oh, yeah. you know candy packs, you would get those whenever you buy a bundle, which is supposed to entice you to buy the bundle, mm -hmm. and you would also get like 
you know, certain pieces that you would need, like, you know, pretty much like key pieces um, or key cards, but they would be almost like puzzles. Uh, not puzzles, but like you get a, a I'm about the bird, but I know what you mean. So you get like a mascot and like a certain Jerry Rice and, you know, just certain things that you would need to complete what we now know is a puzzle, but, you know, in Madden 25 is going to be called something else. Uh, and then you would do that to complete the uh, team collection. But you would have, you, at that, and I have to keep prefacing this so that people can understand it clearly, at that time and at the time of this photo, because it is subject to change, you could only do it by buying bundles. You could not get it when you bought single packs. And so you'd have to spend Microsoft points with money to get access to these individual pieces to get bonuses. Yes. And that was something that we sat in that that meeting room and we argued. We actually yelled. And it had gotten to a point where they they had to just completely go away from that subject and bring in something else that they wanted to add into much. So it actually, they heard us, but I'm not sure if they were too keen on resolving it, even though we did throw out different um, ways in which they can do that, that can benefit them and also benefit the consumer as well. You know, we gave them options, so. But if we'll you can't buy bundles with coins, which completely boggles my mind if they actually keep it that way. I'm surprised that they actually came out with this. Because one, I'd never even seen this pack with Drew Brees on it, this Ultimate Team 25. I'd never seen that pack. I think that's going to be was only... a premium pack. I, I, my, my best guess would be premium because the off-seasons are kind of like the premium now and they're green. I don't know. What I What I saw was what we would equate to like bronze and silver packs. Those were the only two that I saw. And I say that to say this. They they did this picture in particular well after we were there because it didn't look as advanced as this picture in particular with Drew Brees. It didn't look that advanced. Um, I wonder how old this is because there's a news headline going across the bottom. It says some people were surprised when the Miami Dolphins let Reggie Bush walk, which is kind of old news. So I'm going to go look this up now. How long back was that? I mean, Reggie Bush signed up with the Lions months ago. All right, now, I went out there in March. Um, this could so. also be like a comment that someone made recently, so it's not announcing the signing. It's just uh, a comment about it. I'm trying to really right. dig. Yeah, I'm trying to, we're trying to piece together the dates here. And That's also on the All Pro Pack, actually, the green is the All Pro Pack because he's opening that right now, so never mind, it's not premium. But it says, if you read the text behind the pack, contains at least three legendary players in a mix of seven something higher I guess players. higher player three legendaries and an all pro I didn't see that when I was see, there see if I had to be completely skeptical and piece this together three legendary players I'm thinking of like a lower tier legendary player mm-hmm. like um a rookie version of Derek Brooks or a rookie version well, of when we, face. when we were there and I didn't mention this to anyone we were there and we were pulling packs um, first, it wasn't easy to get legend cards. Um, second, there were legend cards in there that were rated in the 70s and in the 80s. Um, out of pulling, we probably we've pulled hun- we had pulled hundreds of packs, and there were only like a handful. Um, after a while, after pulling all those packs, all of us together total only had like a handful of 90 rated legends. So it's not like we were. It's not like we were pulling what's going to be in packs today because, you know, there were still some players that weren't signed. So we were going off of uh, we were pretty much just doing ratios. That's what we were pulling for. We were pulling for ratios and the ratio looked good. And um, also the fact that we didn't see a single a single 99 rated card. The highest card that I saw was a uh, 97 rated Derek Brooks and a 97 rated Dick Lane. I seen a nine. I seen an eighty-five rated Walter Payton. You mm-hmm. know, so they were they were all over the place. But um, when I seen the uh, ninety-nine rated Dan Diedorf, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, I was like, whoa, hold up! I didn't I didn't know they. Especially put because there's not very there. many regular high-rated right tackles in the game. Period. Right. So when they like now that I'm seeing contains three legendary players, I'm like, what? Like that right there is news to me. That that means that this is well after we were there. Um, so 
they they heard us. Mm-hmm. But looking at the left side of this picture, all pro pack bundle, six sixteen hundred Microsoft points, no coins. It does it, by the way, guys, it doesn't say how many packs are in these bundles. Yeah, either. it doesn't say. It's um, it's covered. But at that but at the time of this picture, they didn't adjust what we said to them. So they had time because they still messed around with the interface and things like that. <clears throat> if they had time to do that, they definitely had time to put a coin price to these bundles. And they chose not to do it. And this is the picture that they released during playbook time. Now, it's subject to change. And I'm pretty sure that they will change it. But that just shows that they still was trying to push down our throats that we're going to pay money. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the video right here. There's about 16, 17 more minutes in Why and I's discussion. But the last time I tried to render a video this long, my software crashed. And so I'm going to chop this into two videos. The second video should be in the description as well as an annotation. So go check the second part of our discussion out. And thanks for watching, guys. Leave your feedback below in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video.